Mike here with the administers. There you are, kiss the prince. Here we go. At the crossroads again. What do we got to say today? Might have a little live stream. Got a little live stream going on. <laughs> Not schlepping anything around. That's a good part. It's a good it's a good part. Hey, somebody's getting them a new iron gate. <laughs> named after me. It's called the Gravity and Step. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah. Look it up. Gravity and Step. There's no such thing as coincidence. No such thing. You come in with a certain amount of knowing Evolution is expanding the mind into another dimension. You ever heard the term drop the dime? You ever drop the dime? Dimethyl trip to me. One drop. Just a drop. Well, how do you do drop me? Honey do. Nectar of the gods. Glaucus drowned in it. But was resurrected. Had a savior. Then King Minos. the Savior to teach Glaucus divination before he could leave the island of Crete. He'd actually been kept captive until he found Glaucus. Until he could find Glaucus. to bring him back to life. How did he do it? This is where the serpent comes in. Because a serpent, a 
serpent found its way into the prison cell. So he immediately killed the serpent. Another serpent came into the cell, saw the first dead serpent, left, returned with an herb, and brought the serpent back to life. Seeing this, he utilized this herb to bring Glaucus back to life. actually one of the more lost tales of Euripides. 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 Her, her, her Euripides. Huh. See, this is, uh, as I've said many times, dialects make us derelict. As in fried rice Life. Choctaw, Chakra. Again here, Chakra. And Choctaw. You're a little bit deep. Maybe your hair went flat. Which is a reference to the cilia in the inner ear little hairs in your ear. They go flat, you go deep, deaf. Deep, deaf. What's the diff? <laughs> See how quick it can go. Now I'll take you nowhere fast and get you right back again, even quicker. How do we do that? How do we do that? It's like Popeye, or from the left hemisphere to the right. Just like Santa Claus. And a reindeer. Flying reindeer. On Amanita Muscaria Mushroom. They fly, they prong, they dance. And it's the red caps. And the Gnosis. <laughs> ah, that's Epicurious, an Epicurean today. A lot of people are what we call bi-curious. Then there's the anti-curious. <laughs> oh, it's like this, and that ain't no other way. Granny said so. Huh? Who? Granny who? Granny who? What not Yoda? One Granny. Uncle Jed's Granny. Wasn't Uncle Jed's granny. He was a Jedi. Hey, give me a hammer and nails. We'll go driving. Here we are on Lake Keystone, and this is the Levee. The 
reincarnation is real. <laughs> hey, the only thing I'm required to be a Jew is to camp and dwell in the East. That would be meditation. Meditation is mediation, is medication. We communicate the theta mental state to be carried to Delta is bliss, the Delta lady. On the gamma is the fantastic voyage. Its relevance to the marriage ceremony in Cana. Where Yeshiva turned water to wine. A port is a fortified wine. Drop the dime, dimethyltryptamine, DMT, gallant, mem, sade. So your left top is the beginning to the end. Sade is the maiden to a left. There's the wedding ceremony. Did you attend? Have you heard those wedding bells chime? Take me up into the country here, where they turn. What is fun? Let's do a truck tribute to Can Heat. <laughs> Blind Al and the Bear. Winnie the Pooh. How about you?
symbology comes from nature. Sound comes from nature. Words. Letters. But it's about the sound, not the spelling. It's the spelling that will catch you. There's a catch-22 with the spelling. Most are caught.
know, the Mayans worshipped Saturn. The Aztecs worshipped the sun. And both are correct. Saturn's leader of the pact and protector of the Jews. The Juju. Jupiter is planet of kings. And the sun is the life giver of all things. Without it, you know, without it being in the sweet spot, we don't exist. And due to the expansion, we are moving away from the sun at a very, very slow rate of about six inches per year. Doesn't sound like much, but will come a time when we'll be out of the sweet zone. So we have that much time to figure out how to redirect the energy, harness the energy in another way. Full time living a black hole. Who knows? <laughs> The answer is out there, and it will come. We're in the age of Aquarius, the golden endless age. It's because it moves seamlessly into Capricorn without any turmoil or chaos that we're experiencing now in this exodus from Pisces. Too many blinders on. Religion. It's a binder. And it will alter you. The world will be destroyed by fire, but it's the flame of a transmutated mind that heals mankind forevermore. Become part of that pact. The quicker the better. Then we, the quicker we bring heaven down to earth. That's my uh, that's my cross to bear. Bring heaven to earth. It's been my cross to bear for uh, twenty six thousand years. when this step was uh, first recognized. That's when my dance step is first recognized, 26,000 years ago. That's not forever, but that's a, still a mighty long time. There, dear little love it. <laughs> anyway, hey, we're close to where we need to be. We'll be back with more, because this is what we need.